I was into all the sciences when I was at school and I liked materials because it's kind of applied, it um, feeds into all the different things like chemistry and physics and engineering, so I felt like it gave me like a good basis for moving on to anything scientific. I think material science because it's really interdisciplinary, I mean it gives you a chance to do lots of different sciences all at the same time, so there's a bit of chemistry, there's a bit of physics, there's a bit of bioengineering and that's the reason I've picked materials. I think it's just the most exciting science that there is because you're dealing with hands-on equipment, materials, it's also a good place to get funding at the moment. Everything you see from biology, from medicine, to the buildings that you see out there, it's all made out of materials. <laughs> the nanotechnology department is exceptional here. I always knew that there was going to be great things going on here and I wanted to be in London. I've always been a country boy so I wanted to come into Imperial, go to one of the top universities and really get down to my studies. I've always wanted to do engineering, you know, and, and uh, especially applied engineering because materials is very much sort of the front of anything applied and it's all practical and not just like theory. The government is behind it, job prospects are good and many of the practical problems of the world are actually come down to materials problems. I do material science with nuclear engineering so it's slightly more specific and Imperial is one of the top nuclear and materials um, department in the UK. There are a, a few lecturers who have done literally um, all sorts of amazing things. Robin Grimes, um, he got me very interested in nuclear and um, simulation as well. I would say it's my supervisor, uh, Molly Stephen. She is um, a young female um, entrepreneur slash lecturer slash researcher. In the nanotech department, Mary Ryan, for example, and Molly Stevens are both very successful. They both uh, just uh, went up a readership level. I really like David Dyer's courses. He has uh, been a really good lecturer. We've got students from all over the world um, who come from a variety of backgrounds in the way um, that they've been taught sciences and also in their culture. And so that makes a very vibrant and interesting atmosphere. The reputation is second to none at Imperial one of the best uh, in Europe.